I woke up, it was seven Waited till eleven Just to figure out that no one would call I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare I'm just a kid, I know that's not fair Nobody cares cause I'm alone And the world is having more fun than me Boy. be superstars. When we mentally take off the names of the body's organ system, the lymphatic system is probably not the first to come to mind. Yet, without this quietly working system, our cardiovascular system would stop working and our immune system would hopelessly impaired. The lymphatic system actually consists of two semi-dependent parts. The meandering network of lymphatic vessels and various lymphoid tissues and organs scattered through the body. The different organs in the lymphatic system. Mm. The lymphatic vessels is scattered throughout the body which collect limbs or tissue fluid and return to the blood system at the junction between the jugular and subclavian veins. In and around the cells of the body, extracellular fluid collects waste products and carries nutrients and oxygen to the cells. Some of the fluid travels through the capillaries. Some, especially if it contains proteins too large to enter the capillary membranes, circulates through the lymphatic vessels. The lymphatic vessels flow through several lymph nodes. These lymph nodes contain concentrations of white blood cells which kill bacteria and other harmful agents trapped in the nodes. Form. Blood pressure forces a watery fluid from capillary walls into tissue spaces. Most of this fluid re-enters the capillaries, while the remainder passes into adjoining lymphatic vessels as lymph. Red cells remain in the blood capillaries and some white cells pass out to act as scavengers. Some materials flow out of the capillaries by way of diffusion. Other materials through pores of varying sizes at junctions. What are the other lymphoid organs? The spleen is a small organ located behind the stomach in the left upper part of the abdomen. A mass of lymphoid tissue, it contains two distinct areas, the white pulp and the red pulp. The white pulp is distributed as tiny nodules of lymphatic tissue among the red pulp which fills all the remaining space. The white pulp is responsible for the production of lymphocytes. Some lymphocytes enter the blood while others remain in the spleen where they ingest and destroy foreign or damaged cells. The red pulp contains many blood channels, expanded capillary lakes, which act as filters when blood is forced through them removing damaged or abnormal red cells and allowing normal ones to pass through. The lymphocytes then engulf and destroy these damaged red cells. The spleen also acts as a store for red blood cells. The thymus, which functions at peak levels only during youth, is a lymphatic mass found low in the throat overlying the heart. The thymus produces hormones, the thymosine, and others that function in the programming of certain lymphocytes so they can carry out their protective roles in the body. The tonsils are small masses of lymphatic tissue that ring the pharynx or the throat, where these are found in the mucosa. Their job is to trap and remove any bacteria or other foreign pathogens entering the throat. 
They carry out this function efficiently that sometimes they become congested with bacteria and become red, swollen, and sore, a condition called tonsillitis. The Peyer's patches, which resemble tonsils, are found in the wall of the small intestine. The macrophages of Peyer's patches are in an ideal position to capture and destroy bacteria. Bacteria are always present in tremendous numbers in the intestine, thereby preventing them from penetrating the intestinal wall. Peyer's patches and the tonsils are part of the collection of small lymphoid tissues referred to as mucosa-associated lymphatic tissue or MALT. Collectively, MALT acts as a sentinel, protect the upper respiratory and digestive tract from the never-ending attacks of foreign matter, referring to those as cavities. When we talk about body systems, the lymphatic system rarely comes to our mind. But now that we know that it's just as important as other popular body systems, we should not take this for granted and take good care of our lymphatic organs. Listen to me.